GDP, it's a measure of the economy. It's a sum of our expenditure and our income too. Then we measure CPI to see what we are living by. If inflation gets too high, then we can't get by. Everybody in this world has the means for funds. Will they loan, borrow, or repay someone? Did they have a surplus or a deficit? All based on the interest rate. M1, M2, the possible forms of money. Increase in supply and people will come running. Productivity in the Lucas Swedge, is it still the same? No, it's not. There's a gap since the 1960s. It is huge, very big. Unemployment happens regularly. Cyclical, structural, or fictional. To be employed naturally, don't be under three. When you're 15, it's time to work, even if you don't twerk. Because the working age is 15 officially. How many are now unemployed? 7% of the force. Let's bring it down and work some more. No slacking off at the office. Expenditure is what you buy. Constraints keep the money tight. If demand gets too high, decrease short run aggregate supply. Everyone in this world has demand for funds. Will they loan, borrow, or repay someone? Did they have a surplus or a deficit? All based on the interest rate PY equals MB, the quantity of money with Y in GDP and B for the velocity. In the equation is the price level determined by nominal low real GDP. So growing in quarter we buy the rule of 70. Put that up the growth rate now. You go. If product moves rapidly, the demand increases and wages increase. But although the dirty activity bears an increase in GDP. Why does labor productivity grow? Physical capital is the building factories. Human capital is their skill and knowledge. Investment opportunities. Economists say that growing the economy. All in all, this increases standard of living.